everybody, it's me again. So today guys, we're going to react to this video. I saw it already, don't like it, but I want you guys to see it. I've been posting the video for a very long time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're trying it, so, here we go my search for Arizona's largest tarantula and normally I do my best to not get bitten by giant hairy spiders but today I'm going to intentionally take a bite from the desert blonde tarantula to see just how dangerous it really is but before I can do that I've got to catch one let's get searching we're searching the Sonoran desert of Arizona to find these tarantulas this desert is teeming with all sorts of venomous creatures and the best time to find them is after dark the sun is finally set. Um, headlamp is on. This headlamp is going stream? to be the main tool that I use tonight to find one of these tarantulas. So I'm going to use my headlamp to sweep from side to side. I'm a There's new not a lot to give away other than just getting the light USA right on the tarantula like itself. And then comes the tricky part, actually catching one. I also have a snake hook with me tonight, which could come in handy in catching a tarantula. But the main reason I have it is because this is prime rattlesnake territory. There's a lot more things crawling around out here than just big spiders. These spiders are out tonight hunting, but if they're near their hole, they'll quickly tuck back in. If I don't get close enough in time, it's pretty much game over and we'll have to find a new tarantula to catch. <laughs> rattlesnake right there. You see it coiled up? Right there. Oh, yeah. Back up a little bit, guys. Right. That is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Now, it is not a big one. This is a juvenile, but it is still capable of inflicting a very serious bite and use a snake hook to move snakes out of our way just like this let the snake go and we keep searching for spiders yes it's a great sign that we're seeing all these venomous creatures out on the hunt this desert is coming alive look at this desert hairy scorpion right there Let's see if i can grab it the best way to do this is just grab right at the top knuckle so it can't sting me See him get him to calm down. Stay, stay, buddy. Stay, buddy. Come on. There we go. That's good. Oh. Got him. Oh, yeah, he's pinching me. All right. Here we go. Let's see, I'll show you what we got here. That is a pretty good size giant desert hairy scorpion, the largest species of scorpion in the United States. Luckily, I've got a good grip on its stinger there, but you can see there's even a little bit of venom starting to come out of the tip of it. If you don't grab these guys correctly, they will give you a pretty good pop. You can see why they call them the desert hairy. Look at all the hairs all over its body. It doesn't get much cooler than these large scorpions. All right, let's put it back and keep looking for those tarantulas. Scorpions and tarantulas are out here hunting the same food. Yeah. I have a feeling we're closing in on our giant spider. Gosh, you've seen the furry nights at Freddy's. Oh, I got a spider right there. Let's go. That's All right. Spider. Oh, right my there. God. Let's see if we can get a catch. Okay, it's oh, right <laughs> That is a big male. Oh, no. Desert blonde tarantula. After a little bit of searching and a little bit of luck, so we brought the snake hook. We got ourselves our tarantula for the bite test. Alright, let's take it back up. Let's go guys. Yes, as fate would have it, as we were heading back to start setting up for the bite test, we saw an even bigger spider. Oh, another tarantula. This one looks bigger. Oh yeah, okay. Let's try to catch this one too. Alright, I don't know how close it is to this hole. Oh, 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 oh. 
That is the specimen we have been after. That is a truly huge tarantula. I did not expect this. Not one, but two huge desert blonde tarantulas. What we have here are a male and a female. And unfortunately for me, I think this video just turned from a tarantula bite test to a tarantula bite comparison. And I'm sure you are as curious as I am which of these two spiders has the more painful bite. It's time to find out. I am definitely nervous. Oh man. Oh, oh my goodness. Two full grown desert blonde tarantulas. And the table is now set for the ultimate spider bite test here in the Sonora Desert. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. What I'm about to do is a bad idea. Please do not attempt to recreate what you're about to see in this video. We have two tarantulas here in front of us. We have a male and the female, which we found unexpectedly. I think it is worth doing a bite test comparison to see which bite is more ferocious because these spiders live very different lives from each other. Females actually live for a lot longer. We're talking 25 years for a female tarantula and only five to 10 years for a male. Females tend to bunker down. They stay a lot more localized to their nests where the males are much more nomadic and predatory. I have a suspicion that we have a very different bite profile for these two spiders and we are going to put that to the ultimate test. Let's take a closer look at Arizona's largest spider. Ladies first. In order to get some really good footage of the spider, I'm going to move it into this glass dome. And of course, we don't want the spider to get away. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. This is perfect transfer. Oh my goodness. The fangs on these spiders are oh enormous. Oh my gosh! It's not just going to be the venom that's up against the egg. We're talking actual puncture wounds from fangs that large. And in terms of what they're out here hunting and eating, pretty much anything that they can grapple onto. They are very strong spiders. And of course, possessing those large fangs, they could subdue a variety of prey, even small lizards would be a good meal for a spider this size. The females tend to be a little bit bigger than the males. They are called a desert blonde tarantula. This is meant to be child wonder. Desert blonde. We need to grab it by its carapace, the top of the head of the spider, and I'm going to try to pin it, grab it, and then I'll be able to show you the things. Oh god! Right here. Mark 
bent, and I'm about to take a bite from Arizona's largest spider, the desert lawn tarantula. All three. One. So nervous. Two. Three. One fang through. Oh, I think I gotta take a better bite, guys. It wasn't a good enough bite. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Ready? On three. One, two, three. See that? <sighs> Definitely burns. Oh my gosh, my adrenaline is like firing right now, guys. I, I feel like my soul just jumped out of my body. That is the freak most freaked out I've been around an animal. Oh, and it definitely burns. Oh man. My neck, yeah. My neck is like seized up. It's like I've got a cramp right here. I don't know if it's from the bite or if it's from just the nerves and the tension. Oh my gosh, I think it's nerves. I, I don't think it's from the venom. <sighs> definitely burns. It's a, it's definitely a burning sensation. I had to really try hard to get that spider to bite me. I want to point that out, that this, this spider did not want to bite, but that was not an aggression bite, for sure. Okay, I think I'm, I'm good enough to do another bite. I think it's time to bring in the second tarantula and see if the male can inflict a more aggressive bite wound, to which I have a feeling that's going to happen. Males are known to be more aggressive, and that's why I wanted to do a bite test here. Much darker in coloration than the female, too. Um, and my hand still burns from that first bite. take my second bite this time from a male and much more aggressive desert blonde tarantula on three one two three just waiting for the bite to come this does not want to bite me no big reaction is that these, these animals do not want to bite me. So while we've given this spider plenty of opportunity to inflict a bite, you can see it really has no intent to do me any harm. And frankly, it should be a lot more afraid of me than I am of it. So I hope after watching this video, you all have learned some important lessons about Arizona's largest spider. Even though these spiders are large and admittedly pretty creepy, you really have no reason to fear them. And honestly, their venom isn't that strong because spiders this large tend to use their strength to overtake their prey. They don't want to bite you, and even if they do, it's really not that bad. All right, let's let our spiders back off into the desert. <laughs> 